Hey guys, um, well, person who subscribed to me, I'm really grateful. So, I know you said you were interested in delusions and how they work and stuff like that. Sorry if I'm not staring right into the camera. I am filming on my phone this time, so it's it's weird because I can see myself and <laughs> so uh yeah got my giant mountain dew here so it's kind of funny you mentioned that um I had a very weird experience today but let me let me back this up so I've been dating someone for eight months now um that, you know, dramatically changed my life. Um, when you're mentally ill, it's like you somehow zone into that relationship and you pour your heart and soul into everything. And schizophrenia is not the only thing I have. Um, I have traits of borderline personality disorder and I also have um, bipolar disorder. So, as you can imagine, um, let me, let me clarify something first. I am not schizoaffective. I have bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. They're two separate ones. Um, the reason why is because my psychotic symptoms happen indifferent to my mood. If they were to happen when I was manic or depressed, then that would classify as schizoaffective. It, it doesn't for me, so they're two separate diagnoses. Um, but with those two together, you would think that I would be incredibly delusional, um, and I am to a point. Um, but sometimes my mental illnesses work against me and they team up against each other. Um, so anyways, Pour my heart and soul out with this guy. We had a falling out a couple months ago, and um, it ended in a big fight. We didn't talk to each other for like a month, but our hearts were still intertwined with each other. You know, distance makes the heart grow fonder, that kind of thing. Um, well, anyways, we got into an argument tonight, and well, it wasn't even an argument, it was a disagreement. And he firmly told me um, that, you know, he didn't, he was stating his opinion, he was doing it assertively, but my anxiety really took it off the handle into the next extreme. So here I am, starting to have a panic attack, trying to calm myself down. And I don't think he it registered to him what was happening and he thought I was like crying so he tried to comfort me and I didn't need comforting at that time um, but fast forward to the actual panic attack because I ended up did I did end up having a panic attack um, so one of the things I really did face was my fear of abandonment issues, good old BPD or traits of BPD or whatever I got. And you mix it with bipolar disorder delusions and schizophrenia delusions. So they work together to create lies and they were stuck inside my head with my anxiety rapidly firing the same thing over and over which was he's angry at me he hates me he's going to leave me um he he doesn't want anything to do with me i'm not going to be in his life we're not going to be together I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And that could be like paranoia to a point. Um, it could just be abandonment issues, but who knows at this point. Um, 
But while we're on the topic of delusions, um, I do have a pretty big delusion. Um, since my schizophrenia is more of a mild situation, um, I always see hallucinations and deal with delusions on occasion. Um, the truth is, is that I think there's like something in my skin, so I have a very nasty habit of picking scabs and whatnot. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But sometimes I feel like bugs crawling all over me. Like right now, there's one like crawling up my back and it feels like a spider. Um, and I'm not just making that up. I don't know if it's the fabric of the shirt or whatever, but it, it's bothering me. Um, so I do have those, but the actual delusion lies in, um, my brain where I, this is, this is very embarrassing, um, I think that there are cameras everywhere and I'm on a reality show and that I'm getting interviewed in my mind, um, and that they can hear my thoughts and that... They've placed cameras all over my house, and um, it's really, really scary, but um, I remember whenever I used to have a meltdown or a psychotic episode, like a, a small one, not one that would land me up in the hospital, um, I ended up staring at a poster that a friend gave me and I remember rocking back and forth staring at it and I'm like there's a camera there's a camera they're watching me who's watching me the government why is the government watching me I don't know um but that's what I've been dealing with those are the only two delusions that I deal with at this moment it'd probably be a lot more severe, I guess you could say, if I wasn't on my medication. Which reminds me, I'm like, I'm like five or six different medications. Um, if you want, I could talk about those and how those help my delusions and how those help my moods and stuff. If you guys are interested, I mean, come on, uh, comment down below. It's not like I don't read your comments it's just I don't reply to them unless they have like a question sort of um but this is my second YouTube video so what am I talking about um but yeah one thing I want to add the camera delusion is what's prompting me to make these videos excuse me um you know, if I figure I'm on a camera all the time, I might as well talk to a camera, a, a real camera, and uh, put it out there, what needs to be put out there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the kind of person to say this kind of stuff because I, I've taken psychology, I know it sounds weird. Um, that's all I can really say. But anyways, this video is way too long. I apologize, but I hope this answers what you were thinking about. Ask me any questions down below, and I am proud to have one subscriber so far. So, yeah, excuse my jacked up hair. Um, but anyways, it's like 11 at night where I am, so yeah. Thought I'd make a video responding to you, and have a good night slash day slash whatever. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.